The second question given in 2018. Okay. Luckily, two questions have been asked in 2018 for 14 marks. So we can read out this question, and both the questions are simple. We'll see how we can solve this question on the board. Guys, uh, if you read quickly, Veena Lakshmi partner sharing profits losses equally. The following is the profit and loss account for the year ending March 2019 is given. First, what we need to take? First, we have to calculate step number one, computation of book profit. Book profit, what is required is net profit is required and is given net profit is 4,38,000. Now, read the debit side of the profit and loss account one by one, office expenses. Please look at the adjustment. Is there any adjustment for office expenses? There is. Out of office expenses, 12,500 is not deductible by virtue of section 30 to 37. So, office expenses 12,500, he himself told that under section 30 to 37, this is not a business expenses. It is not deductible. He would have not deducted 12,500. Therefore, we are adding it back. Next is <coughs> salary to employees is a business expenses. If any salary is paid to the employees, it is a business expenses. Next is income tax. Income tax always a business inadmissible expenses. So I have taken 20,000 as a inadmissible expenses. So inadmissible items, there were two items. I have taken 32,500 as a total. Next is partners remuneration. Partners remuneration Salary to Veena is 1,20,000, salary to Lakshmi is 1,32,000. If you add these two, you get 2,52,000 rupees. Next is interest on capital of Veena at 15%, 7,500. Interest on capital of Lakshmi at 15%, 10,000 10, rupees. In total, 10,000 plus 7,500, 17,500, which is provided at the rate of 15%. But up to 12% is business expenses. In excess of 12% uh, is inadmissible expenses. So therefore, 15 minus 12, 3% is inadmissible, which is taxable. So if you add all these three, we get 726,000 rupees. Okay. Now, we should deduct some of the items in that. First one is admit admissible items. Allowed, not allowed. Not allowed means what? Business expenses, if they have not, if they have not debited in the profit and loss account, such items should be deducted. No such items is given in the adjustments. Therefore, just leave it. Inadmissible incomes. If you look at the credit side, interest recovered from Veena and Lakshmi drawings is two thousand five hundred. As interest on capital is, interest on capital is allowed as a deduction. Interest on drawings is also allowed as a deduction. You can just skip it. Okay. Next is uh, interest on government securities as interest on income from other sources. Interest on government securities is taxable under the head income from other sources. So therefore, it is an inadmissible income. Next is short term capital gain of 1 lakh rupees is given. Even this is also taxable under the head capital gains but not here. So therefore these two items deducting from this. So we get 3 lakh 41 thousand rupees of book profit. Now second step is we have to calculate allowable remuneration. See when you want to calculate allowable remuneration we should remember first actual remuneration which is 2,52,000 to be taken here and then statutory limit in these two whichever is lower we will take but when you calculate statutory limit the first step is 90% of the first 3 lakh rupees 3 lakh 41 is the total book profit in that 3 lakh rupees on first 3 lakhs 90% is 2 lakh 70 we compare maximum limit of 1 lakh 50 which is higher in this 2 lakh 70 or 1 lakh 50 2 lakh 70 is higher then on the balance of the book profit, say 341, 3 lakh rupees, we calculated 270 and remaining 41,000 rupees, we calculate 60 percent which comes to 24,600. Now we add 24,600 plus 2,70,000 
which comes to 2 lakh 94600 now we compare these two items whichever is lower whichever is less is allowable remuneration so we are done with the step number 2 also now let's see the step number 3 computation of total income of a firm see total income of a firm how to calculate first we have to calculate what is the income of the business of a firm the book profit is 3 lakh 41 allowable remuneration is 2 lakh 52000 so income from business of a firm is 89000 apart from that we have income from capital gains see in the second adjustment if you read the firm is sold a capital asset worth of 5 lakh rupees for 5 lakh rupees and its uh, today's value index cost of uh, acquisition is 1 lakh rupees that means we sold 1 lakh value worth of capital asset for 5 lakhs we got uh, a long term capital gain of 4 lakh rupees so sir how do you got to know that it's, it's a long term only see whenever there is a, an index cost of acquisition is given it is a long term capital gain only so which comes to 4 lakhs and short term capital gain here we have deducted we have to add it here in order to find out the total in capital gains now the total capital gain is 5 lakh rupees and also income from other sources as interest on government securities 2 lakh 85 is given so now if you total income of the firm and uh, capital gains and other sources you get a to gross total income of 8,74,000 rupees since there is no deduction under section 80c to 82 so this gross total income itself becomes the taxable income or total income so our total income is 8,74,000 now what is the question he is asked is he is asked that what is the total income and the tax liability of the firm now the total income is 8,74,000 in this we calculate on short term capital gain of 1 lakh we calculate at the rate of 15% and long term capital gain 4 lakh rupees at 20% sir why we calculate 20% on long term is if the index cost of acquisition is given we calculate 20% if index cost of acquisition is not given we calculate 10% so therefore we calculate 20% on 1 lakh 15 percent is 15,000 on 4 lakh 20 percent is 80,000 on the other income so we calculated on this and this as 15 and 20 percent on the other incomes like income from other sources and income of the firm which comes to totally 3 lakh 74,000 on that if you calculate 30 percent you get 1 lakh 12,200 rupees now the total tax amount is 2 lakh 7,200 on this we calculate education sets and secondary higher education sets as 3% so 3% on 2,7200 is 6,216 and the total tax liability of the firm is 2,13,416 so this is a uh, 2018 second question for 14 marks they have asked uh, very simple question guys if uh, you like my videos please uh, subscribe my channel and uh, if you are already subscribed please ask your friends also to subscribe and please don't forget to put it in the comment box if you don't understand anything please put it in the comment box okay and please like my videos and share my videos to your friends thank you